at least from the indication from what my phone's been saying with the text messages over the last you know whatever it's been 12 hours um, it's uh, a lot of people are going you know and they're coming from uh, many different places not just from Fresno but from around and um, around California and wherever they may be so I think it's going to be an exciting time and I think the Red Wave is going to represent really well. Coach's Corner brought to you by Bud Light. That was Coach Ted for this afternoon talking about the Las Vegas Bowl. That's where Fresno State will end its season in less than two weeks, Saturday, December 15th. Julia Lopez joins us now with more on that and the matchup. Yeah, thank you so much, Andrew. Well, we all know Vegas is a destination spot, but what makes it even more appealing is that it's drivable. So it takes about six hours to get there. Many Fresno State fans made the trip back in 2013 when Derek Carr and Devontae Adams were playing in their final game as Bulldogs. Here's this week's open mic. It was awesome. Uh, it, it was the Fresno State fans showed up. The team was great. I told you they, they, they were focused. We, we thought they were going to run away with that game. Most people did, but instead the Bulldogs were run out of the stadium. Five years ago, Bakersfield native Cody Kessler threw for 344 yards with four touchdowns, while USC's defense held the Bulldogs' prolific offense to just three scores. The Trojans won 45 to 20 as Fresno State finished the season 11 and 2, but that memory shouldn't get in the way of making new memories. Oh, we have a destination that people want to go to. It's it's very easy for the Fresno fans to get to Las Vegas. Yeah, you know, the Vegas Bowl is a great bowl game. I have played there before. Jeff Tedford is very familiar with the Las Vegas Bowl. They do a great job with it. He was the head coach at Cal when Marshawn Lynch and Deshaun Jackson were lighting up the scoreboard while playing in front of an electric crowd. The first bowl sellout ever was way back in the day in 2005 when Coach Tedford was at Cal. He came in and played BYU. The, the game sold out. His third touchdown of the night. This one from 35 yards out. It, it forever changed the face of the Las Vegas Bowl after that. So we have a special place in our heart for Coach Tedford. We have a special place in our heart for Fresno. The Bulldogs can do something they've never done before on December 15th as they try to become the first team in program history to win 12 games in a single season. But they have to get past a tough Sun Devils team coached by Herm Edwards, who spent eight years as an NFL head coach with the Jets and Chiefs. The Devils are 7-5 and five overall, but they've had a second half surge, having won five of their last six outings. Uh, to play the Pac-12 representative Arizona State, um, from what I've seen a little bit of them uh, throughout the season, they're a great football team, very well coached, um, you know, so it's going to be a great matchup and uh, we'll look forward to the competition. I would expect the Fresno fans to be just as fired up. You know, they, they, they hit a little bit of a rough patch the last couple years. Last year, you know, they went to Hawaii, so their fans didn't really have an opportunity to go to travel to a bowl game. Um, so I, I expect the Fresno fans to show up in Las Vegas. So if you do decide to go, make sure to get your hotels booked as soon as you can. The last day of the National Finals Rodeo will be taking place on the 15th as well, so it'll be very busy. Herm Edwards, famous for saying, you play to win the game. <laughs> Both teams will be playing for that. Thanks very much, yeah. Julia. Fresno State, one of six Mountain West teams to play in a bowl game this season. The Mountain West, by the way, the only FBS conference this season with at least three teams that have double-digit wins. As we know, the Bulldogs will play Arizona State in the Las Vegas Bowl. That same day, Utah State will face North Texas in the New Mexico Bowl. Those teams will meet for the eighth time. San Diego State will play in a bowl game for the ninth consecutive year. The Aztecs will face Ohio on December 19th in the DXL Frisco Bowl. On December 22nd, which is not Christmas Eve this year, Hawaii will play Louisiana Tech in the Hawaii Bowl. Those two teams used to be conference mates in the WAC. Boise State, Mountain West Conference runner-up, will play Boston College in the Serve Pro First Responder Bowl on December 26th. The Broncos are playing in a bowl game for the 17th year in a row. And Nevada is playing in a bowl game for the first time since 2015. The Wolfpack will face Arkansas State in the Nova Home Loans Arizona Bowl on December 29th. Up next on the Bulldog Insider, we've got something you can bank on. Meet Steve Miller in this week's Bulldogs Give Back. Next.